Hey guys, Rui Sermian here, and as you may be able to tell by this thing uh, behind to my right, uh, today I'm going to be doing a review of the new movie uh, buildable Megazord. Uh, my mom got me the last four pieces today, and uh, this thing is huge. <laughs> um, if you have the uh, Titan-sized Metroplex, this is taller. I have compared them. It's not quite as beefy, but it is taller. Uh, so, let's see if I can't get the whole thing in view. <laughs> uh, there we go. I'll give an up-close look of the individual parts in a minute. <laughs> and, uh... There's only two parts that actually don't get used. Uh... The net that comes from the uh, Mastodon Spider, which is what I'm going to be referring to because it has eight legs, and uh, the putty that came with the Pterodactyl. Uh, this putty, by the way, is uh, bigger than the figures of the Rangers. It's still smaller than the Megazord's head. Well, not quite, but it's about... It's slightly bigger than the Megazord's head. Uh, so, yeah, this... This thing's huge. <laughs> and I'll do a comparison of the putty to a ranger in a bit. Uh, speaking of rangers, I'm going to grab one out, since Trini's the easiest for me to reach at the moment. Alright, so... There's Trini... on the Megazord, so that should give you a decent sense of scale. than the putty. So again, slightly bigger. And comparing the ranger to the putty. You can see the putty's uh, about a torso higher maybe. Slightly less than that. Alright, let's put her back in here. Trini's the easiest to reach in this mode. Uh, they are all accessible. Uh, Trini's just the easiest one for me to reach. Um, so, Megazord has a whole bunch of weapons on here. Uh, the T-Rex tail sword we've seen before. Uh, we have a uh, gun from the Sabertooth. Uh, gun or rather a grabber made from uh, a gun or grabber, I'm not sure which, it, it's actually meant to be in this mode, from the pterodactyl, gun from the T-Rex, and the wings have the ability to uh, pop off The T-Rex parts of the wings, that is, have the ability to pop off. Okay, he lost his sword. That's okay. Uh, by the way, the weapons are pretty much the only things keeping this thing balanced. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, uh, that's an easy fix. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Uh, as I was saying... Uh, the T-Rex part of the wings have the ability to uh, become shoulder cannons. Um, usually it's not going to fall apart like that. This is a case of... Uh, of I was moving it around too much. And obviously you're not really going to be doing that <laughs> with this. Uh, plus I hit the uh, links that, that are holding the T-Rex part on. Uh, so that was mostly my fault. The thing's sturdy on its own. So don't... Uh, it's falling apart is not from uh, design, that's from me. <laughs> I do want to make that very clear. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so that's the Megazord itself. Of course, we have to take a look at the different parts. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking him apart 
And then I am going to be showing off each of the individual Zords and showing how they transform. Uh, so I will be back in a moment. And I will uh, show off the Zord forms first. Okay, outside of the T-Rex, I had them all put back together into their uh, Dino Battle Zord modes. Um, so the first one I'm going to show off is uh, the Sabertooth Tiger. And uh, this is probably the uh, best transforming one, as there's really no parts forming to it. Um, I know some people uh, don't like the parts forming. Uh, personally, for me, it works for what this is, and I really don't see a way this Megazord could work without it. Uh, but you get a very nice size uh, Zord here. Uh, black on the bottom, hollow uh, part. Um, they all have some hollow parts. Again, if that bothers you, uh, then you probably want to stay away from it. It does not bother me at all. I personally think it works great. Uh, giant gun here. Uh, Sabertooth is an odd one out of them, as uh, most of them, in fact, every other Zord battle zord this is where you would put the ranger figure however because this is where this big turret goes uh it's actually in the spine here which you uh, saw earlier when i was uh showing things off so so you have uh, molded little details in there you probably can't see on the camera but there is a molded little seat in there and uh you just put the ranger right in. Then we have uh, the turret up here. Uh, to design, it can go 360 degrees. Uh, I personally really like this because it's got this nice button on top. You can really make the uh, guns go. I see there's a bit of lag on my computer, but it's actually going really fast for me. So, because this is the uh, tor tor part of the torso, this is the part that has to transform first in the instructions after the T-Rex. So, let's do that. Uh, so, you, as you may have already noticed, these legs flip out. Then you uh, just flip this down and then you attach it to the T-Rex. Uh, so you attach this little peg area into the hull part here. Uh, hopefully I'm getting some of that on camera. And then you fold up the legs into little tabs that are on the T-Rex. And uh, that's what holds it in place. Uh, that's why when I moved the leg earlier it came apart there. And uh, that's basically the beginnings of it. So next, we're going to take a look at the legs. Uh, the first leg it has you transform is the uh, Triceratops, so that's the one we're going to look at next. Uh, so, Ranger goes in here. Uh, something I want to point out too is if you only have the Triceratops and the Mammoth, uh, the heads are interchangeable. I said the heads are interchangeable. They actually are, I just can't do, get this for some reason. So, uh, yeah. And uh, I'm actually, I think I might be wrong, there might be a slight difference in size in where the uh, peg holes are. If there is, it's very slight. Oh yeah, I am wrong. They're not interchangeable, so I am wrong on that. It's just, uh, there's, they're almost interchangeable, but not quite.
All right, now this is where it gets really parts formery. So for this one, take off the head, take off these legs, take off the belly, flip this part up, flip the tail back, and by the way, uh, this is another pressure launching missile. It gives you two at the set. Uh, in case you lose one, personally, that's not going to happen for me because this is going to stay in the tail the entire time, unless I'm playing around with it, in which case I know where, where it is. Uh, you flip these down for balance. Uh, it actually has you do this last, but uh, I find it helps balance-wise, so I'm going to put the head on here. Um, trying to remember our entire order here, because it does matter for this part, I believe. Uh, so you want these facing up, the, the back these legs facing upwards. Uh, yeah, you want to put them in first. So you got a bit of a skeleton there. And then you take this piece and just put it right on and you get your nice little knee pad. So that's the left leg of the Megazord. Next up, we have the Mastodon, Mastodon Spider Battles, or I am going to keep referring to it as a spider, not just because of the number of legs, but because it comes with a web. They can call it a net all they want. It's a web. Uh, this one, uh, it's just a little flip mechanism. It will go far to... It can go pretty far. In fact, uh, it went a decent amount there when I flip it up, so you just flip this lever and it catapults. Uh, I'm not going to be needing that again now, though, so... This transformation is more or less the same as the Triceratops. There are a little bit of differences, uh, but not much. So, going to take this off the back. Take the head off. Once again, take these legs out. And again, take out the belly. Again, flip up. So you can see the base skeleton there. Flip these down for balance. Uh, once again, they say last in the instructions, but I'm doing it first here for balance purposes. Uh, so put the head on. And once again, uh, well actually before I do that, uh, you take this and attach it to the back here. Uh, basically it's just there to cover a little bit and uh, help with balance. Again, uh, you want the legs to be facing up. So essentially the legs end up switching sides. <laughs> and then again, we have the knee pad. And we have the right leg. So, now we have the legs, we can attach them to the torso. And they just attach with a simple sliding mechanism. And this is where you're likely going to see it falling down, because, again, those weapons were the only things keeping it balanced. <laughs> yep, there it goes. <laughs> That's okay. Don't really need that right now, so we're just going to lay you on your back.
And the last one we have is the pterodactyl. Oh, and I forgot. Uh, for the mastodon, uh, let me just grab the head here. Uh, same as Triceratops, we have the cockpit right, right in here. And you can't see the ranger in there, but he is in there. <laughs> All right, so finally the pterodactyl. Uh, cockpit is actually exactly where you'd expect it to be. Uh, this one is personal, my favorite gimmicks. Uh, so I've got the putty down here in easy to access place for me. Uh, you can pull back this and there's a little, and the feet are grabby. So let's see if I can get this to work. I know it works on a hard surface, but I'm not at one right now. Uh, come on, I know you can do this. There we go. And I've grabbed the putty. Again, I can let go. And while I have the putty, I want to show too, uh, you do have arm rotation on it so you get some bit of playability with the putty itself anyways for this part we actually just take off these wings here and uh, I want to show off something that I noticed uh, when I was messing around earlier uh, you can actually take the uh, wings and put them into a uh, folded down mode. Um, I assume this will still work on the Megazord. I don't actually know for sure, but it's the only reason I can think of why these wings come off this way. Uh, it's not part of the instructions at all. Unless the instructions had it slightly wrong. Nope, that will not work. So yeah, that's literally the only reason I can think of why, why it has that. But that's basically what you do with this part. And then you take these pieces here and attach them so that the gun is up and you have the red parallel more or less with the wing. Again, do that on the other side. And these indents up here are for uh, if you're going to be uh, doing these shoulder guns. So, now we take these and put them into those slots that are on the back here. How did I do this before? <laughs> uh, your arm's in the way, that's why. Okay. So, uh, you do have limited arm rotation due to the wings, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, let's make sure that you're front for this. And again, get the uh, wing on the back here. All right, so there's the basic Megazord. Right now it's only holding the one gun. And again, uh, bounce, still terrible. <laughs> but we put the pterodactyl head here, which is going to allow for uh, some balance. We put the uh, turret from the saber tooth on the left hand side. I'm hearing some feedback on my uh, mic here. I think uh, I may need to charge it up soon. Uh, 
and that should give it some sense of balance. <laughs> Mastodon, uh, catapult came a bit undone there. I think that's part of the balancing issue. And then, what's pretty much the only thing keeping it leaning forward is the T-Rex sword. <laughs> Come on, I know you can stand. You've stood before. And there we go. That is the new movie Megasword. Uh, so you can access uh, Pink Ranger from the gun on the right side, uh, which is off screen. Sorry about that. Red Ranger from the T-Rex on the back. Yellow Ranger from the torso. And blue and black from the heads on the feet. Uh, so I am really impressed with this, honestly. <laughs> uh, I know some people were saying that's two parts for me for them. And that uh, it's too expensive for how hollow it is. Uh, personally, I don't think it's that bad. $20 for each of these swords, and they do do a good amount on their own. Uh, that's not necessarily a bad price for their size. Uh One last thing I want to do is uh, grab the uh, Zord Builder uh, Mighty Morphin Dino Megazord and uh, just show the size comparison. So I'll be back in a minute again. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm back with the uh, Zord Builder uh, Mighty Morphin Zord. Uh, just to show the size comparison here, <laughs> I'll try to get them relatively on level. <laughs> you can see that it just barely comes up to movie Megazord's uh, waist. <laughs> For me, <laughs> that's uh, pretty fun. And uh, I may use this as a villain in some of my uh, playing too, just due to the design works well. And it's always fun to have a villain that's larger than, than the Ranger Sword. So, something I might do. Anyways, once again, I love this thing. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is uh, today's video. It was the review for the new Power Rangers movie, Megazord. And uh, I am really looking forward to the movie. And definitely looking forward to see how this cheats into the... Uh, into the movie Megazord because we've seen where the toy looks like and obviously we don't have all this color. I think it does a nice job imitation, in, imitating, and uh, for me, it's always better to have a build a, buildable Zord uh, rather than show accurate, uh, but I know that uh, isn't true for everyone. Uh, so again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video, and have a great time wherever you may be. Bye, guys!